Welcome to GSD Brainers, the place where curiosity meets discovery. The universe is teeming with monsters, not the ones from your nightmares, but celestial beasts that are equally terrifying. Every corner is filled with unseen terrors that are as awe-inspiring as they are fearsome. These aren't your typical monsters, but rather celestial bodies and phenomena that are dangerous, hostile, or simply bizarre. These space monsters lurk in the shadows of the cosmos, waiting to be discovered. And that's exactly what we've been doing. Scientists across the globe have been unearthing these celestial beasts, using the most advanced telescopes and space probing technologies, delving into the mysteries they hold. What would be the outcome if one of these cosmic monsters were to come too close to us? Moreover, is it possible for one of these colossal entities to stealthily approach us under the cover of space's darkness? Brace yourselves as we plunge into the dark depths of the cosmos to meet these fearsome creatures. At number 10, we have the Stellar Vampire, a star that sucks the life out of its companions. These are not your typical blood-sucking creatures of the night. No, these are celestial bodies lurking in the vast expanses of space, draining the very essence of their companion stars. These vampire stars are a type of binary star system, where one star siphons off mass from its companion. This process, known as mass transfer, occurs when the gravitational pull of the vampire star is stronger than the gravitational force holding the outer layers of the companion star together. The drained star gradually loses its mass, its luminosity dwindles, and over time, it's left as a mere shell of its former self. Meanwhile, the vampire star grows larger and brighter, feasting on the life force of its partner. But what are the potential dangers of these vampire stars? Well, some scientists speculate that the mass transfer could trigger a supernova explosion. Imagine a cosmic entity that slowly drains the life force of its partner until it's nothing but a husk. Fortunately, this particular monster won't suck our blood and poses no danger to Earth. Unlike the rest of our list, coming in at number nine, we have the zombie stars, celestial bodies that refuse to die. Now you might be wondering, what exactly is a zombie star? Well, as the name suggests, these are stars that have somehow evaded the natural progression of stellar death. Imagine a star that has exhausted its nuclear fuel, exploded into a supernova, and instead of disintegrating into space, it comes back to life. This is a zombie star, these cosmic zombies are fascinating because they defy our understanding of stellar life cycles. They are like the undead of the celestial world, shining bright long after they should have faded into obscurity. When a zombie star undergoes a supernova explosion, it releases an enormous amount of energy, which can have significant effects on nearby celestial bodies. This energy release can lead to the disruption and destruction of any nearby astronomical bodies, posing a potential hazard to any civilizations or life forms that may exist in those regions of space. At number eight, we have the vagabonds of the universe, the rogue planets. These celestial vagabonds are planets that have been expelled from their original solar systems, left to meander aimlessly through the sweeping reaches of space. Picture a planet akin to ours, abruptly torn from its sun, flung into the cosmic wilderness. These interstellar drifters are not bound to any star, making them immensely challenging to detect. They move covertly through the universe, concealed within the obscurity of space. Some of these rogue stars are colossal, even surpassing Jupiter, the gigantic planet in our solar system in size. Their magnitude and velocity qualify them as potential cosmic wrecking balls. The gravitational perturbation could catapult our own Earth out of its orbit, or in the worst case scenario, a direct collision with Earth. At number seven, we dive into the realm of the cosmic rebels, the rogue stars. Unlike the rogue planets we have discussed, these celestial outlaws are stars that have been ejected from their galaxies due to extreme gravitational interactions. Imagine a star, much like our sun, suddenly being catapulted out of its galaxy, consigned to traverse the vast cosmos alone. They shoot through the universe at incredible speeds, potentially disrupting other systems in their path. Their sheer size and velocity make them formidable cosmic entities. The potential consequences of a rogue star entering our galaxy could be catastrophic. Picture a celestial body of immense mass and energy hurtling through space at an unfathomable speed, entering our Milky Way. 
The gravitational disturbance could destabilize orbits, fling planets out of their solar systems and potentially ignite a chain reaction of cosmic chaos. At number six, we encounter the mightiest electrical current of the universe. The University of Toronto has measured the highest electrical current ever recorded, reaching an astonishing 10 to 18 amps. To put these numbers into perspective, consider that the typical electrical service for a house ranges from 100 to 200 amps, while a typical lightning bolt carries about 30,000 amps of electrical current, making it a powerful and potentially dangerous natural phenomenon with heat that can rival the surface of the sun. To imagine the scale of this discovery, it's fascinating to consider that a trillion Earth lightning strikes combined would produce a current equivalent to what was measured in deep space. This raises the question, what kind of monster could generate such high currents? The giant black holes of galaxy 3C303. The immense magnetic fields of the black hole are in constant motion and interaction, giving rise to the massive electrical surge observed. The universe's colossal Tesla gun. If our Milky Way black hole were to generate a similar magnetic field, it could lead to dramatic changes in the surrounding space and potentially impact celestial bodies within its vicinity. At number five, meet the densest stars in the universe, neutron stars. These celestial powerhouses are the remnants of massive stars that have exploded as supernova. After such a cataclysmic event, only the star's core remains, and it's so incredibly dense that a sugar cube-sized amount of neutron star matter would weigh as much as a mountain. These stars may be small, with diameters of about 20 kilometers, but don't let their size fool you. They are over one and a half times more massive than our sun. Just imagine an object around the size of a small city, but with a mass greater than that of our entire solar system star. Their immense gravity and density aren't the only things that make them terrifying. These stars can spin at incredible speeds, reaching hundreds of rotations per second. This rapid spinning, combined with their powerful magnetic fields, can lead to the creation of intense beams of radiation. Neutron stars are incredibly dense. If one were to get too close to our solar system, it would have a similar effect to a black hole approaching our solar system, leading to its destruction. At number four, we have the cosmic magnetic monsters, magnetars. Born from the explosive deaths of massive stars, magnetars are a type of neutron star with an incredibly powerful magnetic field. Imagine a magnet so strong that it could strip the information off a credit card from a distance halfway to the moon. Now amplify that by a million billion times. That's the strength of a magnetar's magnetic field. It's so intense that it could distort the very atomic structure of matter. But what makes these celestial beasts terrifying? Well, if a magnetar were to pass close enough to Earth, the intense magnetic field could wreak havoc on our planet's own magnetic field. This could cause widespread power outages and even affect the planet's climate. At number three, meet the brightest objects in the universe, quasars. Quasars, or quasi-stellar radio sources, are the celestial titans of the universe, radiating with a luminosity that outshines even the brightest galaxies. These cosmic lighthouses are powered by supermassive black holes, feasting on surrounding matter at the heart of galaxies and emitting energy across the electromagnetic spectrum. Their extreme brightness is due to the incredible heat generated as matter spirals into the black hole's event horizon. This matter is compressed and heated to millions of degrees, causing it to glow fiercely. The potential dangers of quasars, however, are just as staggering as their brilliance. The powerful jets of radiation they eject could wreak havoc on any nearby celestial bodies. Imagine a beam of light so intense it could vaporize a planet from millions of miles away. At number two, the abyss of the universe, the boat's void. We now journey to the ultimate emptiness. This isn't a beast or a cosmic phenomenon, but a vast region of nothingness that poses its own kind of terror. The boat's void, also known as the Great Nothing, is a region in space with significantly fewer galaxies than expected. Its emptiness is so profound that it's often referred to as a super void. This desolate region of space is not just empty, it's enormous, measuring about 330 million light years in diameter. To put that into perspective, our own Milky Way galaxy is just 100,000 light years across. Imagine an area over 3,000 times larger, with almost nothing in it. But the existence of such large voids is not just baffling. 
It challenges our understanding of the universe. Current theories of cosmic evolution have a hard time explaining why such a vast region would be nearly empty. The boat's void is the largest and most mysterious void in the universe. What is hiding in the darkest place in the universe? Could it be some phenomenon that has destroyed all the galaxies in this area? For now, all we can do is wonder what kind of monster is hiding in the shadows. Before we continue to number one on our list, if you enjoy the video, hit the like and subscribe buttons and share it with your friends and family. Your support is what motivates me to create more brain-boosting content like this. Finally at number one, from the emptiness of the boat's void, we now shift our gaze towards an unseen force that has puzzled astronomers for decades, the Great Attractor. This gravitational anomaly, located about 250 million light-years away, is pulling our Milky Way and several hundred thousand other galaxies towards it. The strength of this gravitational force is so immense that it's equivalent to a million billion suns. Yet what's even more intriguing is that we can't see it. It's hidden behind the zone of avoidance a region in space obscured by our own Milky Way. The Great Attractor was discovered in the 1970s when scientists noticed a peculiar velocity anomaly. Galaxies, including our own, were moving in a particular direction at an unusual speed. The cause? A gravitational anomaly which was later named the Great Attractor. Despite our advancements in technology, the Great Attractor remains largely unseen and mysterious due to its location. Theories abound as to what it could be. Some suggest it might be a massive galaxy cluster hidden by the Milky Way's dust and stars. Others propose it might be an area of dark matter. Just like the boat's void, the Great Attractor is a reminder of how much we still have to uncover about our universe. Is it possible for one of these monsters to catch us by surprise? Yes, it is possible, but the chances are so low that you don't need to worry. The universe is vast, much larger than we can even begin to comprehend. The likelihood of one of these monsters getting close to us is extremely small. Fortunately, many light years separate us. And to truly grasp the immense scale of a single light year, I recommend watching the next video. It will reassure you that we are far too distant to worry about any of these monsters. At least for now. Thanks for watching.